Welcome to our tutorial video on the Brain Power Basic Math Domain. Although these math skills exercises can help develop academic skills for school achievement, they were not designed for that purpose. These modules are engineered to help the individuals who have not yet mastered the basic addition, subtraction, and multiplication skills required to work on the other training modules contained in this program. Specifically, Spatial number visualization in the visual skills domain, as well as divided attention auditory calculations and divided attention visual calculations within the executive functions domain, require that the individual can perform basic mental calculations, predominantly addition and subtraction. If the patient's unable to perform these calculations with reasonable efficiency, then these math skills modules should be utilized in order to develop these basic skills. It should be noted, though, that the intent of cognitive skills training is not the development of math skills. For instance, the goal of spatial number visualization is to develop mental visualization of the number line and the ability to mentally move back and forth between numbers on that line. The patient should not be directed to perform mathematical calculations on this task, but to develop mental visualization abilities, ultimately to a level that the person is capable of performing mental calculations more intuitively. The first module is basic addition, which develops basic addition skills. As in many other exercises, the support trainer takes a direct role in the training. The patient is presented with a column of 10 random numbers ranging from 0 to 9. With each incrementally more challenging level, the patient will be directed to add a specific number to the column of numbers presented and verbally present the answer. Adding to the challenge, the patient must answer on the beat of a metronome, sometimes on every beat and sometimes on every other beat, always requiring rapid and consistent processing speed. The support trainer must confirm the answers, inputting the answers as correct or incorrect on the screen. Incorrect answers should be reviewed with the patient prior to proceeding to the next number. 100% accuracy is required to reach the next level. Basic subtraction is the second module and it develops basic subtraction skills. Constructed much like basic addition, the patient is presented with a column of random numbers, only this time the patient is instructed to subtract the smaller number from the larger number, thus always ending with a positive number. For instance, if a patient is presented with a number 4 in the instructions and a 5 on the column, they would compute 5 minus 4 equals 1. If it were a 2 on the column, it would be 4 minus 2 equals 2. Adding to the challenge, the patient must answer on the beat of a metronome, sometimes on every beat and sometimes every other beat, requiring rapid and consistent processing speed. The support trainer must confirm the answers, inputting the answers as correct or incorrect on the screen. Incorrect answers should be reviewed with the patient prior to proceeding to the next number. 100% accuracy is required to reach the next level. The third module is basic multiplication, which develops basic multiplication skills. Constructed much like basic addition and basic subtraction, the patient is presented with a column of numbers ranging from 0 to 9. Only this time the patient is instructed to multiply each by a specific number. Adding to the challenge, the patient must answer on the beat of the metronome. Incorrect answers should be reviewed with the patient prior to proceeding to the next number. 100% accuracy is required to reach the next level. Thank you for watching our tutorial video on the basic math domain, covering basic addition, basic subtraction, and basic multiplication. All of these exercises require skilled coaching and input from the support trainer in order to get maximum benefit.